Okay, I'm gonna make this short and sweet because I'm really tired and there's not that much to talk about because it's basically the same movie, but let's do this. You already know what to do. Subscribe, like, notification bell, comment, check the description for all them links. Yeah, you know it. This is not gonna be my normal type of review because it's essentially the same movie, so I can't really talk about plot or character or any of that because it's just the same movie. So I'll talk about the new stuff, like the voice cast and the animation, if that's what you call it. And, um, uh, spoilers, I guess. I don't think this movie calls for a warning because everything there is to spoil, you already know because you've seen the original, and if you haven't seen the original, then why are you even here? Anyways, let's get into the good. Okay, I'm not lying when I say that this movie captures the nostalgia of the original. You see what I did there? Lying, lying, no, uh, okay. Anyway, yeah, this movie does make you feel the same way that you felt while watching the original, and for some people that could be a bad thing, but for me it's definitely a good. The opening logo is the original retro Disney logo, which I thought was a nice touch and I don't think any of the remakes have done that before. For example, the opening scene, the um, scene where he's holding Simba on the rock, you know what I'm talking about, it gave me chills. I was grinning from ear to ear because this is what I wanted this movie to be like. Some people, they wanted it to be more. I feel like if they add in more to the story, it might drag it down and make it worse for me. But this is exactly what I wanted from it. Just make it make me feel the same way the original did and make me like it. And I did. The voice cast are all on their best here. There's not really any that I would say are bad. There's one I didn't really like but i'll get to that in the bad section um the child acting like simba at the start when he's young it does sound a bit weird sometimes but other than that it's fine the standout for me was definitely scar voiced by um um uh, Um, uh, um, uh, Chu Itel Edg 4 Yeah, he was the standout for me. The animation or CGI or whatever you want to call it in this is, like, superb. It's the best thing about this movie. There were a couple shots that I was kind of straining my eyes and kind of looking for something to grasp onto, but other than those couple moments, especially at the start, is when they were, it's awesome. This movie's musical sequences are definitely its best scenes, and I'm still wondering which of the songs is going to be stuck in my head tomorrow. With that out of the way, let's talk about the bad. I don't have too much to say here because, again, the original's plot, character, story, all that is amazing, and since this is, like, pretty much the exact same movie, it's amazing here, but the one performance that I did think was a little off and not as good as the rest was Beyonce as Nala. I wouldn't say she was terrible, she just wasn't my favorite and was kind of weird. She didn't have too, too much to say but she was not my favorite. And like I mentioned earlier, um, there was a couple scenes, like of the CGI scenes that felt a little stretched out to me. Like there was one scene of like a, a mouse or something just running for a while and it ran for like a long time and there was nothing real to grasp onto and it was kind of blurry for me. So I had to strain my eyes a bit. So that was not my favorite scene. But there's only very few scenes that are like that, and most of the animation or CGI is at its best. The Verdict While this movie does seem pointless, because there's no real reason for them to remake the exact same movie, I feel like it is a good thing that they didn't add additional subplots and characters, because the movie still hit all the right emotions, made me feel the same way the original did. That's a very good thing. For some people, it might not be enough, but for me, it is. I don't have a rating off the top of my head right now because I literally just got out of this movie like 40 minutes ago, but just know that I liked it. And if you're like me and haven't seen any other Disney remakes in theaters, watch this one, even if you're not into Disney that much, you'll love it.